Hey everyone, it's your boy Roz Live. So after a couple of days playing this game, I really had it, you know, the time to let the game sink in and really give like a few uh, overall good like opinion about this game and what I think this game is going to turn out to be. Now, even though it's in beta form, people have to understand that this game is pretty much complete. They don't really change much within beta form besides, you know, tweaking guns, tweaking, you know, maps, making sure that there's any like any exploits within the game and stuff like that. But the overall game is pretty much complete and I don't really see them. I don't see dice, you know, making any significant changes within the game as far as like the community saying, hey, you know what, you need to change this or change this aspect of the game or whatever, etc., etc." So with that being said, here's just some, you know, over the top, you know, problems I feel with the game and what I think is going to happen to me. Personally, I feel like Star Wars Battlefront is going to be the next Titanfall, pretty much. Like, it's going to be a game. It seems like it's a game that's very overhyped. And people are going to get the game, you know, going into it, you know, hyped up or whatever. And then find out that the game is kind of like, uh, it's just average at best, you know. So, I say that because, first off, I want to say that. You know the game looks flawless like the view the visuals the, the sound is flawless those things they got right you know they knock it out of the park easily however the gameplay is very boring i can say you know it's very easy to play i noticed that it's very casual too it's super duper easy it's like anybody can get into this game and pick it up and play i mean i never even i never thought it was possible that a game can be more casual than call of duty like this game anybody can play anybody can pick up and just get into it and that's like a good thing and a bad thing It's a good thing that is going to attract more people to play this game especially people who are just fans of star wars in general and just say hey you know i want to play a star wars game don't necessarily i'm not a hardcore gamer but i just want to play you know i want to relive the movie moments within the game but at the same time you really can't because well you, well, you can because you can play the game and it's really easy. At the same time, you're not going to really relive those moments because this game doesn't have a, a single player. Like, I still don't understand why this game does not have a, a dedicated single player story mode. Now, they have, you know, co-op mission, you know, objective type of, you know, modes or whatever. But still, you know, a single player, like, is necessary. Like, how can you not have a single player in, in 2015? Like, there's no excuse to not have a single player within the game. Especially when a game, especially in this generation where now we have, you know higher technology more disk space more things you know to accommodate and to use to their disposal like developers can't complain about the lack of ram or the lack of space within the consoles anymore like sony and microsoft have addressed those issues with the newer technology within these consoles now like i don't understand what's the excuses but anyways other than that you know like that that, that, that to me like that's like a, a huge turn off for me but um, back to the you know the casual aspect of the game. The game is very easy. The game doesn't have what to me I feel like it needs as a as a class system. It's an open class system type of game. It doesn't have any roles if you notice. Like the game is pretty much you could be you could be a mixture of an assault, like an, a runner, a gunner, and a sniper. So you can have like an assault rifle and you can have um a sniper rifle. Now, that what they did to balance that out was. The sniper rifle, you know, everything requires a cooldown. What to me, I felt like was a good thing because that prevents camping. That, that prevents people from, you know, standing out in the back just shooting people with fucking sniper rifles. With the aspect of the, uh, with the aspect of the sniper rifles having to um, recharge after every shot, and it pretty much has a, you know, uh, a significant time to recharge too for every, um, you know, shot you use for the um, sniper rifle. So to me, you know, that that's not really that much of a problem. But however, it does. The problem where for me, what I have with the game is that. Because it doesn't have a class system, the game doesn't, you know, support any type of cooperative type of gameplay or any strategic type of gameplay. It's pretty much everybody's just out there. You're just going out and you're just having fun pretty much. And that's good, but you're going to get bored very quickly. I found myself very getting bored too easily with this game. After a couple of matches, I found myself like there was nothing new that was happening. Nothing, you know, groundbreaking that just made me feel like, oh my God, I was freaking awesome. You know, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. You know, it was just like, look, I played the game a couple of times, a couple of matches or whatever. And after that, I was done. I was like, look, I, I can't really consistently play this over and over and over again. It's not like Call of Duty where you play a couple of matches and you're like, oh my God, you know, you know. Oh, that was really fun. Oh, that was so action packed. Oh, I didn't do good this time. Let me do the better this time. You know, with Star Wars Battlefront, it's like the same thing over and over and over and over again. Also, I noticed that, I mean, even though this is the beta form, I did notice that the vehicles were very overpowering. The AT AT, like, you get into that thing, you're pretty much destroying the other team when I was playing that game, that game mode. Like, it's crazy how overpowering those games. Now, I feel that, you know, 
that might be patched because of the fact that we don't have access to all the guns. You know, we don't have all the rocket launchers and the grenade launchers and stuff like that. So that can, you know, help, you know, destroy the ATs, ATs, you know, quicker or whatever. But I did like just found that like, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, Dice understands that situation because I mean, there were guys like even even myself, including myself. I mean, I was going, you know, like, you know, 30 and 30 and like six easily, you know, and then I had other guys on my team that were just like, you know, strictly dedicated within, you know, getting to the ATATs by just, you know, camping out around the, the power ups within the map. And they were going like 61 and 0, 71 and 0. One dude had, I swear to God, he had like 90 kills. And it's like, how in the hell is that possible? Like, that's insane. That would not flop in freaking Battlefield or even Call of Duty, you know? Unless, I mean, maybe Call of Duty, but not Battlefield, you know, people would be like, what the hell? Like, who's this guy? What is he doing? We need to kill him, you know, but on this game is very casual, very easily, very easy and people die quick. And it's just pretty much um, that's just the way it is. That's what it seems like. And it's just, you know, way, way too easy to get kills in that at, -AT. So they definitely need to tone that down or just figure out a way to, you know, get rid of them quickly or something like that. So that's the aspect of it. Why, you know, I feel that this game is pretty much you know it, it, it's too late you know and i i really feel like you know it's going to be like the next titanfall like people are really hyping up this game and they're not really you know soaking it in they're looking at it and they're seeing pretty graphics and they're saying wow this game is going to be awesome you know and, and I, I sadly i just don't think that's going to happen i think this game is just going to you know it's, it's just way too too easy too casual it's going to turn off a lot of people it's, it's going to get a lot of people, you know, to, to want to play video games, but at the same time, it's not going to keep them around. It's like one of those games where after like six months or whatever, I don't see nobody really going to be playing this like that. You know, it's going to take a significant hit from the people playing the game. You know, it's going to be a lot of people online within the first couple of months or whatever. And then after that, it's going to like just go downhill and nobody's going to be really wanting to play it. That's what I see where this game is pretty much heading towards. Another pet peeve that I had with this game is the lack of... Well, being that the game is you is, is um being built with the battlefield um engine or whatever, I'm noticing. Well, I'm not noticing. The game doesn't have um destructibility, and to me, that really draws me out of the game. Like not having the world being able to destroy around you is really kind of annoying. It's like this game looks really good, but yet, you know, you don't have that destructible environment type of you know, aspect within the game that kept the game, you know, pretty much new. Like you always saw something new because things blow up differently. Things do different differently. I mean, yes, you know, the ATs and the, the vehicles blow up or whatever, but the overall environment environment doesn't change at all. And to me, that really draws me out of the game, especially a game that's built on the Battlefield engine. Like I said, like you can't have this game, you know, it's playing like Battlefield as far as the controls or whatever, but it doesn't have that aspect within the game. And it really kind of, you know, takes me out of it. Another problem I have with this game is the spawn system. The spawn system is terrible. You can spawn on, you know, your teammates as far as like, you know, players that's, that's in your party or whatever, but you can't spawn any other people. Um, I find that very tedious because especially in the bigger game modes where, you know, the conquest like game modes, you find yourself having to really like take forever to freaking get to the objective or to get to where the action at. Just walking and walking. That's what you do. You find yourself just constantly, constantly having to run and run and get to places instead of just having, you know, like a random spawn system where... Or, or, or just a, a good spawn system, you know, where you could just spawn in the area and get straight to the action or, or not necessarily have to be in the middle of it, but just, you know, somewhere around the vicinity of, of the area, of the objective or whatever. With this game, it seems like everybody spawns in the same exact area within the, the map. It's like everybody's... So, if, like, if the objective is in the middle, well, it's not going to be the middle. Let's say, it's just on like, let's say the objective is just anywhere. Or, you know, just go with the middle. If the objective is in the middle, everybody's going to spawn in either all the way to the north of it or all the way to the south of it. And you just meet up in the middle, which is cool on paper. But when you got game modes where it's just all over the place, you find yourself really spawning in areas where it's just really inconvenient. It's just like, you know, how do you change? And then at the fact that the game doesn't have that ability to add in, you know, like a spawn beacon, anything like that. It does kind of take you out of it. But um, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. You know, that's all me done ranting about it. It's your boy Rise Live. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And I see you guys in my next video. All right. Peace.